Nice day, isn't it? Sunny. Um, we are talking today about bearings. Um, a complete change from the algebra stuff we've been doing recently. I think it's important we mix stuff up a little bit. So um, we're talking about bearings and there's they're just a fancy way of talking about angles. Okay, bearing bearing is just a fancy angle. Okay, nothing more to it than that. Um, there's three key facts that you need to know about them. And I can't stress enough, you need to have these at the forefront of your mind on every single question. Okay, so the three things are, they are measured from, the word from is really, really important. From, from, what? From, okay? So you have to remember the word from. Um, you also have to remember north. And the other thing you need to remember is clockwise. They are always clockwise. And you might be thinking, yeah, but hang on a minute. What if a question asks me for anti-clockwise? They're not going to, because then it wouldn't be a bearing. So, bearings from north clockwise. From north clockwise. Okay? There is kind of a cheeky fourth thing you need to know, and that is that there are three figures. Okay, but I'm going to let you into a little secret here. In your GCSEs, which you'll be doing one day, um, oh, or maybe not, maybe not, maybe you won't be. Who knows these days? Um, in your GCSEs, you will actually get the mark if, even if you forget to write it in three figures. However, on Hegarty Maths, which is what we're using, um, I think you will lose the mark if you don't so actually there's four things you need to remember sorry about that i'm going to write them down and i suggest that you in your exercise book that you have in front of you because you're going to be making detailed notes on this clip i suggest you write the three things as well don't worry about these diagrams at the minute uh, we're going to be using them uh, in a little while so the three things you need to remember you're going to title today's work obs bearings, um, you can even write the date if you want. Now I've got to look at my computer because I don't know the date. It's definitely Monday. I'm feeling the Monday vibe. 18th of May. Right, you can use a ruler. Um, so the, the four, the three things you need to know about bearings. The word from uh, some people put the word from and north in the same bullet point, but I think from needs its own special bullet point, and it is so important. That's probably the most important one of these four things. Um, north is also very important. I still think from is more important. If I was to rank these, this is actually the order that I'd rank them. Clockwise... Again, there's just no bearing that is ever measured anti-clockwise. So just don't even think about it. Don't go there. And then the last one, like I said, three digits. And you might be confused about three digits, but what if, you know, I said bearings is just a fancy word for angle. You know, you can get an angle of 56 degrees. Now, 56 isn't three digits, so what would you do? Add a naught at the beginning, so you just write zero five six. It's not rocket science, the three digit thing. That's kind of why it's at the bottom. Um, but I think on Hegarty you'll lose the mark if you don't write three digits. And that's it. That is literally it. Okay. Now these diagrams you might be thinking look a bit confusing. Okay. So if this question here said find the bearing of B. Oh, can't write this angle very well. From A. Uh, can you remember what I said the most important word up here was? Oh, yes, from. From A, really, is the only thing that is important in this question. From A. So watch this. I put my pen on A because this is where this is the important bit, I promise you. That's kind of irrelevant. From A. I put my pen on A. From. North. You've got to go north a little bit, up the north line. If these north lines aren't drawn in, you need to just draw a north line in quickly, which is always up. There's no, north is never anything else other than up. 
Okay, so I'm going to go up north. I'm then going to start going round clockwise until I get to this line here. So I'm just going to tunga 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 stop. I've hit the line. That is the angle they want. Okay, so you just measure this bit, and then what? What do you know about the angle in, well, at a point is the technical way to explain it, um, but we kind of, you know, colloquially say angles in a full turn. You know, if you do a full turn on your skateboard, it's a 360. Okay, so you are going to measure this little angle here, and sometimes that is given to you, and then you're going to take it away from 360. So, I'll get my imaginary protractor out, because I don't have any at home. You might be thinking, why? But believe it or not, I don't do maths um, at the weekend in my spare time. Um, so, I'm going to measure this angle here. Say, I mean, to me, that looks like it might be about 41. Okay, and therefore, this angle, remember, the one where I'm singing like a crazed woman is the one you want. 360. I'm going to take away 41. Zero take away one, can't do. Borrow, that becomes five, that becomes ten. Ten take away one is nine. Five take away four is one. Three take away nothing. Nothing. I mean three. <laughs> it's three. 319 degrees is your answer. Okay? So look at this one. Of B from A again, right, the important bit, from A, and then follow these steps, from A, pen on A, north, go up north, a tinker, 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 clockwise until I hit the line, there, that is the angle that I want, now this one was actually harder, the one that I started with, the angle that I wanted is what's called a reflex angle, and you can't measure a reflex angle using a 180 degree protractor. So, this one we had to measure the other bit and then take it away from 360. This one is nice and simple, I just need to measure that. And again, imaginary protractor, to me that looks like about 76 degrees, but obviously you need to measure it. Now in the questions you're about to do, I think they actually give you the acute cute the little one so there's no measuring involved um if there is then you might need to google how to measure angles but i, I mean I think, I think you'll be fine um and that's it for bearings today if you want anything a little bit harder than the exercise i've set i will set something else um as well but look in google classroom for that bye